Earlier this year, the Catholic Action Center bought a home on Detroit Avenue in Lexington to house, with supervision, three registered sex offenders. The men had committed sex crimes, but police said they were not pedophiles. Their future neighbors organized to keep them out. My real concern was because I have a six-year-old myself. We look forward to the day, though, that those coming out of um, prison or jail, having served their time, having paid their debt to society, will at least have an opportunity to get back on their feet. That resistance is something Jenny Ramsey deals with every day when she tries to help convicted sex offenders find places to live. Thursday, the state Supreme Court struck down part of a 2006 law which stops registered sex offenders from living within a thousand feet from schools, daycares and playgrounds. The law was written so that it applied to people who live within those limits before the law was passed. The men and women that we've been working with have some tragic situations have occurred because they could not stay in places where they were safe and being able to rehabilitate themselves and get on with life after they paid their price as far as their jail time. But it still applies to offenders who moved into an area after the law was passed. We get anywhere between five and 20 calls a week of folks who are looking for a place to stay, cannot stay with relatives or friends because they're not within the, the legal places where the sex offenders could stay.